Alright, here we go again. This is the Speedrunner144 here, bringing you another episode of the Speedview series in Pokemon Red, made in 2000, I believe. At least that's my first impression. In the last episode, we defeated, um, what is it called? Pewter City's Gym Leader, and that was Brock. So if you didn't catch that, you should go ahead and watch the previous video, and it should be in a little annotation. If it's not, then I'm, necessar I'm not necessar necessarily sure how that sort of thing works. But since we beat the gym leader, we can go ahead and get the heck out of the city. But I want to take a look at my Pokemon. Yeah, he's pretty banged up after the last fight, so I'm going to go ahead and head to the Poke Center. Nothing wrong with that, I don't think. Uh huh. And what is a speed through series without a speed boost? Oh yeah, my least favorite part of this entire game, Mount Moon. At least I'm pretty sure that's where we're heading. Oh no, I've been tricked. Hum, well I have to fight this guy. Oh, this is the guy we fought at Viridian Forest, so he's gonna have bug Pokemon. And if you watched the last episode, then you would already know that fire attacks are super effective against Pokemon. So yeah, last episode I came out with the sterling idea of leveling up my Charmander into a Charmeleon. And it worked well. And when I beat the gym leader, when I beat the gym leader, we went straight ahead and we, I don't know. <laughs> we uh, gained a level. That's what I was looking for. I'm having a hard time placing my thoughts in proper order because it's 120 here. And I have a long day ahead of me today. I just used Bind on me, and Bind, um, Bind prevents a Pokemon from attacking, but that was a critical hit, and I like those. Uh-huh, defeated. Oh no, what have I done? Actually, I should go ahead and defeat all of these trainers. A Nidoran, oh! It's a female Nidoran. There are, two t there are two kinds of Nidoran. There's a male and a female. And a male Nidoran involves into a Nidorino, and a Nidorino involves into a Nido King. While a Nidoran female involves into a Nidorina, I think. And after that, it involves into a Nido Queen. Oh, yeah, if you didn't know already, when a Pokemon evolves, its cry becomes different doesn't stay the same. I think it gets a little deeper. Yeah, but I should go ahead and fight all these trainers because my Pokemon requires XP. And that stands for experience. No, I didn't touch you. Oh, it's a Jigglypuff. Oh, it's disabled. Okay. And that Jigglypuff does not look pretty. So in the last episode, I went ahead and said that I'm going to be doing a solo run. And the solo run is when you take a, um, a, a, a single Pokemon and you bring it through whatever you go through. I'm just going to go ahead and heal up here, just in case things go crazy. So what do I have for items? Potion. I have a TM. Oh yeah, that's a TM I'm never going to use. I might as well deposit that. In the last episode, I said that um, this PC is going to be very useful, and I don't want to go into someone else's PC. I want to go in mine and deposit a TM because I'll never use it because I'm using only one Pokemon during the entire game, just to speed things along, you know. All right, black and white. I'm really liking these graphics. I mean, I was using Direct 3D. Yeah, it was Direct 3D and it wasn't working out so well. But this is a Zubat, and as you can clearly see, it's a bat. And you always want to avoid Zubats if you can't take them, because they're always a... Um, um. Oh, whoa, it's a Paris. That looks so much different than in um, Special Pikachu Edition. Anyway, um, a Zubat is a Pokemon to be reckoned with. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a lass. It's a lass, all right. Holy crap, level 14. 
This is my this is my day. So let's see. At level 16, a stage three Pokemon evolves into its second stage. So I'm thinking at maybe level 26, it might evolve again. Not sure though. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm fighting a Zubat, and I want to avoid this. And this is where I meet Team Rocket. Team Rocket are Pokemon gangsters. <laughs> They're hip and they're rocking. What can you say? Oh, it's a Sentru. This could be a problem. Batata. Oh, they use Quick Attack. What a jerk. Oh, disabled. Oh, God. My Charmaster is confused. Okay, cool. just hear my frame rates drop a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal up because when I take this I think I might fight Team Rocket. Oh I have eleven potions. No problem. <laughs> Low HP? No oh my god. Okay. This is unacceptable. Die. HP up, huh? I can go ahead and use that right now. And when you use the HP up, it doesn't bring up your um your first um, hit points. It brings up your, um, let's see, your total hit points. Your sub hit points. So whenever you have to, um, whenever you use an HP up, it's gonna bring your total HP up, but it won't bring your, um, your sub HP up, so you have to go and heal if you want full HP. It's kind of annoying, and they actually fix that in the second generation. It's a Geodude. Here we go. Nope. Yes, it's a lass. Ooh, with a grass type Pokemon. Just so you can see how it's super effective against grass Pokemon for anyone who hasn't seen Pokemon before. Okay. Or who hasn't played it, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Okay. This is getting kinda ridiculous. Oh no, it's Team Rocket. TM01? I am so blessed. What is it? Mega Punch. I could actually probably use this. I mean, I gave it to my Pikachu in special um, Pikachu version when I put it on my Android. So, yes. Actually, I probably should have kept it here for a little bit. Uh huh. Big job. Wow. I should not interfere. <laughs> and Mega Punch. Oh no. I forgot that it's inaccurate. <gasps> oh, you just had to poison me. Well, this is where we find the first statue. <laughs> and that was so dramatic. I'm sorry. Ekans. Fainted. I almost said die, but that's not what Pokemon do. Pokemon don't die. Like I said, antidotes are vital. Cured a poison. And there is an object in these boulders. Yeah, cool. Other. Big deal. Oh wait, I don't need that. I need an elixir. And I need a PP up. But I don't need an ether. Well, not yet I don't. Okay, come on. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, there's a trainer here. I expected to not find a sissy. Yes, hit him. That's right, Mega Punch is good. Oh, nice, it's a hiker. Way to test out my fire-type Pokemon. Mega Punch. Actually, I need that to take out that Geodude. Oh, I'm starting to regret taking this battle. But he's only doing three damage to me. Or three hit point damage. And I leveled up. Oh no, it's an Onix. Oh no, we don't like Onix. No, we don't like Onix. Not after it used Bite on us. And that's actually what Brock gave us. Why did I get rid of that move? Because I was convinced I wasn't going to use any more TMs. Moonstone. I can use that to evolve a Clefairy, and I think I might just catch one just for the heck of it. So we're not in... We're not in Mount Mood. We're in... Oh, yes we are, I guess. No, I don't have any Pokemon. Or, I mean, Pokeballs. Clefairy, get the heck out. Oh, there's so many Team Rocket. This was not the right way to go. Holy crap, it's Eradicate. Okay, Mega Punch. Mega Punch the crap. <gasps> oh my god. Not good. Oh, you. You. 
Still haven't decided what to do if I have a Pokemon that faints. Yes, use those. Okay, cool. I should be much more careful. It's late and I'm not thinking properly. Well, technically it's early. Uh-huh, Paris, go away. With an ember. See ya. Cash. That's what they want. Oh, wow, this isn't good. I should use that Mega Punch for when I need it most. Super Sonic! If you don't know already, Super Sonic confuses Pokemon if it hits. But it goes away in the next battle. It goes away after the battle that you were confused in ends. Oh, and this is a super nerd, so he's gonna let me have a fossil. After I beat the heck out of him with Ember. Oh no. Oh crap. I don't like these. Coughing's okay. You'll share with me? I appreciate that. So, a Helix Fossil. I do believe that's an Aerodactyl, and a Dome is a Kabutops, but I guess I'll find out. Yes, I want this. Thank you very much, sir. Alright. He picked it up so I can progress. And I made it! Wow. Through the rock tunnel. As I said earlier, this video should be 20 minutes long. And I set up a timer right as I started recording, so I won't miss a single moment of it. And there should, yes, there is a TM here. And I know this from playing Special Pikachu version. What is it? Whirlwind. I can't learn that. That's not a Fire-type move. Or is it normal? So, my Charmeleon can only learn Fire-type and normal moves, I believe. Oh, and this is the... Um, the bridge of the Elite Six. Just kidding. It's the bridge where a whole bunch of trainers can, um, you know, do stuff. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need a heal. And I need to deposit stuff. Get out of my way, man. Uh huh. Deposit a Moonstone because I'm not going to catch any more Pokemon. Actually, I kind of want to now. And get rid of the Helix Fossil. And. Nope, we keep everything else. I need to go buy some more potions. Because. I'm doing a solo run, and solo runs are kind of difficult, but, you know, as time goes on... It's really difficult in the beginning, but as time goes on, you'll be okay. Alright, go ahead and buy half of my money, which is ten more. Could use a repel. Use more antidotes. Oh yeah, burns go away when the battle ends. FYI. 100 times 10 is 1,000. And Awakening... Oh yeah, Sleep was the one I was missing. Um, sleep goes away after a battle ends. But Paralysis does not. Okay. Yep, I'm awesome. Oh, I probably could have sold some of that stuff I had. No, I could not have. I can't sell a Helix Fossil. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So this is Cerulean City. And this is the home of the beautiful, very beautiful gym leader, Misty with her Water-type Pokémon, and that's going to be hell for me. But there's a cop here, and I believe in Special Pikachu version, this guy is a woman, and she is... what is she? She is Officer Jenny. Yeah. So we have Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny. So I guess this guy's Mr. Jenny. <laughs> oh, it's John! Yay, he's going to fight me. Oh, this is actually probably pretty bad. Fire type move. No. No, you don't. That's going to affect me for the rest of the battle. Yes. I like that. Rattata. Oh my god. Okay, it's a good thing I can take these guys out. In Rage! Nice. It's a good thing that I can take these guys out in one, um, one move. One hit. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Growl, because I don't use that anymore. Rage. Rage! I actually probably should not have used that. And he has Bubble. <gasps> oh no. Yes. Good show, mate. Because... Oh, crap. I better hope he hits. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop building, Rage. Rage, no. Yes. Yes, Charmaster, you're amazing. I love you so much. Oh yeah, Bill. Uh -huh. So now I have to go see Bill, and he owns the Pokemon system. You know, Pokemon storage system, I should say. Wait, what am I doing? I can just go back to the Poke Center. 
Well, I can, but I will. Uh huh. Awesome. So, um, Bill is the owner of the Pokemon storage system. Get, get out of here, man. You don't belong here. There we go. Uh huh. So, once I visit Bill, it's actually going to say Bill's PC, which is good. I'm going to name this episode Pure Luck because of that Charmaster. Because that, um, that Pidgeotto used Sand Attack, and that affected me for the rest of the battle. I did not like it much. Bug Pokemon. Yeah, throw some more at me. Please have Bug Pokemon. Okay. Oh, it's a male Nidoran. Yay. Actually looks kind of cute. Uh-huh. You're not a bug trainer. Or a bug keeper. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's a bug trainer. Get out of here. No, don't hurt me. So when you're confused, your Pokemon, ha Pokemon has the chance to hurt itself. Which does a lot of damage to you. With the addition of the other Pokemon, your opponent dealing damage to you. Oh yeah, that's right. So these are the six trainers, and once I beat all of them, they're going to give me a special prize at the end. But there's this, there's going to be this big, huge jerk at the end waiting for me. That's not going to be nice. Ember. Spamming Ember. Number five. Scratch. With a Mankey. Mankey's amazing. But uh, Mankey also happens to be... Oh, it's five contest trainers. Oh, nice. And so this guy's going to try to recruit me into Rocket, but I refuse because my character has a good conscience. Uh-huh, buy a Zubat. Alright, cool. Well, I said I wasn't going to show you glitches, but I'm actually going to go ahead and do a save state. Okay. And before a trainer can spot you, go ahead and get into your menu and fly away once you have the Pokemon. So that's known as a trainer glitch. And once you fly away, you won't be able to use your start menu, so you have to fight a trainer, not get into a battle, because fighting a trainer is different than fighting a battle. Thunder Wave. I can't teach that to a Fire-type Pokemon. What are you thinking? Oh, bugger. Forgot about these guys. They look tough. Oh, this is not actually this is actually not so, not so good. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Alright, he's not doing very much damage to me. He used bind. So that's what bind does. It continues for a ridiculous amount of time. Go ahead and use potion since I'm so far in. Okay, spam potion. There we go. I actually don't like to waste um, items. But, you know, it comes with a job. A male Nidoran. Okay. First one was female. Level 26. My Charm Master did not evolve, so it must be at level 32 or something. I actually cannot remember, and if I did, I would tell you guys most certainly. And he's freaking using Harden. Show you. No, don't do it. Why did I use Rage? Because I'm always going to get hits on him. And each time Rage hits, it does more damage. See? Actually, that was a critical hit. Defense curl. Look at how much damage this will do. Ah, bugger. And I think it's ten turns that your Pokemon does this for. But whatever. Oh my god, why am I still using Rage? Oh my god. Well, this is still good. <laughs> I'm actually going to title it Rage because Rage has saved me on multiple occasions. Well, it hasn't saved me, it's endangered me, but, you know, it managed to get me through. Okay, you're not a grass Pokemon, and you are a grass Pokemon. Uh-huh. Yes. Talk to Bill, who happens to look like a Nidoran, but he insists that he's not, so he's going to get in his machine, and I have to um, go on the other end, because he combined himself with the Pokemon. Oh yeah, go to the computer, not the other one. And in Special Pikachu version, your Pikachu's like, what just happened? Why is this person here? This person Pokemon, the, let's see, the Persimon. Anyway, he gave me a ticket um, for the SSN in Vermilion City. So I have to go there. Uh huh. Oh, Misty is going to be here. And she's going to be like, you scared my boyfriend away. Die. Yeah. She has water Pokemon, so I'm not tingling with that. And go, go. Yep. Killed by 20. 
told you I don't like to. Wait a minute, where's Misty? Okay, that's weird. In Special Pikachu version, Misty is here. And I can't go back to Cerulean without um, tangling with her boyfriend. Actually, I just scare her boyfriend off. And this rocket is still here, like a big stupid noob, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fight him. Yeah, that's right. I'm calling you out, man, for stealing stuff that doesn't belong to you. And, oh crap, crap. No, no. See, drowsies are known for putting Pokemon to sleep, and when you're asleep, you can't attack. You know, that's kind of obvious. And he just used freaking Leer, or Disable. Disabled. Alright, so he gave me the TM28, which happens to be... What do you happen to be? Dig. I... Yes, I can teach it. <laughs> oh my god, how ironic. So, eventually, down the, ri down the line, I might catch Pokemon so that I can go ahead and... Jeez, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and give it a scratch. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and use um, HMs using specific Pokemon so I don't fill my Pokemon slot up with HMs. Especially HMs that I cannot learn. So, here's your TM, but he just says that those miserable Team Rockets stole my goodies. And he doesn't even notice that I have it. Well, because I taught to my Pokemon, I feel like a jerk now. Wait, wait, before I battle Misty. Oh, crap! I'm at 21 minutes! Ah, oh, bugger. So I'll go ahead and deposit these items and then end it there. So yeah, not a lot happened in this episode. Just visited Bill. Huh. I don't need that. And I... Alright. Correction, we'll go ahead and sell this nugget. So while I'm um, doing this, I'll go ahead and say not a lot happened in this episode. More will happen in the 15 minute long episode. Wait, I don't want to bell. Bye. Okay, crap. Still getting the buttons down. I would like to sell my nugget for 5,000. It's actually a glitch in the game where you can replicate I uh, items and Pokemon, but I'm not going to do that. Anyways, not a lot of progress was made in the episode. I'm actually going to go in and fight Misty's gym people, trainers. So, when I come back, I will be in the gym. And I'm probably not going to do another episode today because I'm actually tired and I have a long day ahead of me today. So, guys, thank you for watching. And I'm not going to ask anyone to give me support yet because I haven't exactly earned it. But I appreciate your views, I appreciate your time, definitely. And I will go ahead and upload. I'll, I'll see you on an episode of whatever I make next, basically. So, see you later.